Cyberpunk 2077 will only be launched in a few more weeks, hopefully on December the 10th. However, its prequel, the tabletop RPG named Cyberpunk Red, just hit the digital stores. Even if you're not a TRPG player, the book is full of lore that is canon to Cyberpunk 2077's story. So come with me and let's take a look at what's behind the beautiful cover of Cyberpunk Red. Hello and welcome, Edge Runner here. If you are not familiar with the Cyberpunk products, it all began with Cyberpunk, the roleplay gaming of the dark future, published in 1988 by legendary Mike Pondsmith. The first edition box consists of three booklets that give players all the information they need to start playing as well as a pair of dice and several character sheets. A second edition, released a few years later in 1990, called Cyberpunk 2020, expanded upon the rule set and the world, and is considered the primary way to play the game. After the release of 2020, the first edition became known as Cyberpunk 2013, in reference to the year of the setting to differentiate the two editions. After a small hiatus in the late 1990s, a third edition was released known as Cyberpunk V3, however, the book was later revised and is now considered non-canon, so let's forget about this one for now. By the time Mike started working on the true third main book, which later would be named Red, he was approached by CD Projekt Red to start producing a video game based on Mike's vision of the future. Both companies then started working in collaboration to develop the next two products in the Cyberpunk universe, the book Cyberpunk Red and the video game Cyberpunk 2077. On Mike's own words, Red allowed us to create something unparalleled in gaming history, a tabletop RPG that serves as the perfect on-ramp for the expanded and far future of the Cyberpunk 2077 arc. Alright, that was a lengthy introduction, but it had to be done. So let's say you don't play tabletop RPG games, but still want to know more about this lore of Cyberpunk 2077. Is this book a product you should be considering buying? What you can expect to find inside those pages of Cyberpunk Red? Well, in short, yes, you should get it. And that's a lot of stuff going on in Cyberpunk Red. Taking a quick look at the table of contents for the book, we see multiple chapters dedicated at the explaining the main events in Cyberpunk universe. The way Mike structured this story is in terms of roughly 10 year arcs. The Cyberpunk War goes to hell beginning in 1993, starting with the invention of modern cyberware and the attack of the World Trade Center in New York by Colombian narco terrorists. Yeah, this is an alternate timeline, so there are a lot of difference between the real world and the cyberpunk world. However, here is a fun fact. Everything that happened before 1988 is shared history, so it's canon in the universe. And that includes the birth of a guy named Keanu Reeves. So yeah, Keanu Reeves do exist inside the cyberpunk universe, as well as Johnny Silverhand, even though they really, really look like they are the same. Either way, let's move back to the cyberpunk red. So most of those events are explained in older books, but they are revisited in the this book between pages 234 and 236. We then start the main cyberpunk story, the so-called Never Fade Away arc, 10 years later in 2013, with the culmination being Johnny Silverhand invasion of the Arazaka Tower in an attempt to rescue his girlfriend Alt Cunningham. This whole story is written in a novel fashion on the pages 5 to 16 and it's quite entertaining to read. 10 more years pass and we have the events of Cyberpunk 2020, which is called the Fall of the Tower arc. By the end of this arc in 2023, the Cyberpunk world is totally disrupted. This whole story is told from pages 121 to 124 and more detailed between 246 to 256. But well, this is mostly ancient history for everyone who follows the Cyberpunk lore already, as most of this information is already on the other books. The chapter name, The Time of the Red, is where we start getting fresh new lore and I believe it would be critical to enjoy Cyberpunk 2077 at its fullest. Here we get to learn what happened with the world after the Four Corporate War, especially with Night City and the America, but what also is going on throughout the rest of the globe. We also get to learn a great deal about what happened with the millions of rogue AIs created during the Corporate Wars and how Netwatch is dealing with them. It's 
chapter ends with a comprehensive description of the major mega corporations of the time of the Red, and among the ones we already have been confirmed in Cyberpunk 2077, we have Arasaka, Militech, Trauma Team, Biotechnica, Petrochem, and Network 54. Moving on, we have a whole chapter dedicated to explaining Night City, and this includes a complete description on how the Morro Bay landscape changed from 1990 to 2045. We know that Night City continued to change until 2077, but it's still really interesting to see the past of it. I will make a whole video about this topic as it is one of my favorites, so stay tuned for that. The chapter also has a brief description of all gangs operating in Night City at the time of the Red, and we can already spot some familiar faces here. We have the Sixth Street, the Maelstroms, the Bozos, the Tigers, and the Voodoo Boys. All of them confirmed to be in Cyberpunk 2077 game. Well, maybe not the Bozos, but we all hope they are there. The next chapter is not crucial to the 2077 story, but gives you an idea how the society works by 2045. It explains some cyberpunk tech like brain dance, vehicles, and more. Following that, we have a complete description of the weapons and cybernetics available by 2045, and although the chapter is written within the RPG mechanics in mind, like the splitting damage in terms of dice rolls and all, it is still a fun read and give us some clues on what to expect in 2077. The final chapter tells a story about a group of edge runners called the Black Dogs, who get a job that takes them away from Night City. During the next weeks until launch of Cyberpunk, 2077, I will be doing daily videos covering the new lore of Cyberpunk Red. Leave in the comments which topics you would like to see first, and I will try my best to publish them ASAP. So to not miss any of that, smash that subscribe button and activate the notification bell. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I see you next time.